So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys we cover the latest patch, the patch 1.03 which is available now. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So it's the early hours of the morning here in the UK, almost 4 o'clock and I just got notified of a patch update from, well I actually got kicked off line playing first and I realised what's going on, check Twitter. And as they patch, so today we get into the entire thing and what's being changed. Okay, so notice of update distribution. We are distributing an update to improve the stability of gameplay and to adjust balance. We apologize for the inconvenience, but please apply the latest update before you enjoy the game. Targeted platforms, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, uh, Xbox Series X and S and Steam. Major changes included in the latest update. Additional elements added. Added a function to record an icon and the name of an NPC on the map when you encounter that NPC. Wow, that's actually incredible. Added NPC, Jarban, does that say? Nice. Added new quest phases for following NPCs, Dialos, Nefeli Lux and Kenneth Height slash Gatekeeper Costa. Added some summonable NPCs in multiple situations. Increase the number of patterns of objects players can imitate using the Mimics Veil. Added night background music for some open field area. Okay, cool. Bug fixes. Fixed their bug that prevented summoned NPCs from taking damage in some boss battles. Well, I never encountered that. Fixed their bug that sometimes prevented the player from obtaining uh, certain items after boss battles. Fixed their bug that causes dialogue to be skipped when talking to NPCs and using custom key configurations. Fixed their bug that causes the player to freeze when riding. Fixed their bug that causes arcane to scale incorrectly for some weapons. Is that with the uh, the rivers of blood? Is that fixed now, people? I actually made a mistake of killing the fire giant before going back. I can't believe I made that mistake. I can't believe if you're watching this, guys, and you're in the uh, mountaintops of the giants, and you haven't fought the fire giant yet, but haven't got the rivers of blood, look up a guide on how you get the rivers of blood, preferably mine. Do not kill the fire giant before you get this katana, because you can't go back. You'll have to wait until you get to New Game Plus. Yeah, pain in the ass. So in situations where the player cannot obtain more than two talisman pouches, me, they've added a talisman pouch to the twin maiden husks. Pretty cool, that's what I like to see. Fixed their bug that prevented the user from uh, warping to sites of grace from the map at the end of the game. Fixed their bug that prevented the player from moving to the next area after the battle with a fire giant. Wow, I wish you'd actually just allow us to spawn that NPC after we killed the fire giant. Fix their bug which causes some weapons to have incorrect scaling after strengthening. Fix their bug which causes some weapons to not use that scaling. Fix hang ups in certain occasions. Fix their bug which incorrectly displays multiplayer area boundary uh, when playing online. Fix their bug that allows players to activate a tree great shield weapon skill without absorbing an attack using a special combination of item and incantation. What? I've seen so many builds are based on this which are absolutely overpowered and they've gone and fixed it. What? Well fixed or broke it, I don't know, but they've took it away. They've took it away. Wow. Fix their bug which causes fire's deadly sin incantation to have different effect. Fix their bug with Ash of War, Determination and Ruin Knight's Resolve, where the damage buff will also apply to other weapons without that Oh my days, they are nerfing everything. Adjusted the visual effect of Unseen from Spell. Delete the uh, ragged armor set from the game, which was mistakenly obtainable in a previous patch. Wow! Fixed a bug that caused uh, some hostile NPCs to drop fair calling finger remedies. Fixed a bug that causes incorrect sound effect to play in some situations. Fixed a bug which causes uh, visual animation and hitboxes to not be displayed correctly on some maps. Fixed bugs which causes incorrect visual and behavior for some enemies. Fixed a bug that causes incorrect stat parameter. For some armor, text fixes, other performance uh, improvements, and bug fixes. Balance changes, guys. Increased drop rate of smithing stones for some enemies. Added smithing stone to some early game shops or lineup. Increased shields effectiveness. Increased the damage for all offensive crackpot items. Increased the damage for the following items: spark aromic and poison spray mist. Increased the effect duration for the following items: uplifting aromic and iron jar aromic. Increase HP healing for torrent when using the following items. Rower Raisin, Sweet Raisin and Frozen Raisin. 
reduce FP consumption and increase the damage of the following sorceries. Glintstone Comet Shard, Comet and Night Comet increase the damage of the following sorceries. Gravity Well, Collapsing Stars and Crystal Barrage. Decreased FP consumption for the following sorceries. Star Shower, Rock Blaster, Garvel of Harm, does that say? Founding Rain of Stars, Stars of Ruin, Great Blade Phalanx, Magic Downpour, Loretta's Great Bow, Loretta's Mastery, Carrion Greatsword, Carrion Piercer, and Shard Spiral. Not bad. A few of them I actually use. Raise projectile speed and range of Great Glintstone Shard. Decreased Ash of War Hawfrost Stump damage and increased cast time. What? Increased Ash of War Bloody Slashes Self Inflict damage while slightly lowering the damage and increasing the cast time. Decreased Weapon Skill Sword of Night and Flames damage. What the hell are they doing, people? Increased FP consumption and lower duration of Ash of War Barricade Shield. Changed FP consumption timing of Ash of War Prelate's Charge. Decreased the damage of uh, Spirit Summoned when using the item Mimic Tier Ash and changed the Spirit's behavior pattern of an enemy and weapon balance changes. Wow, people, I cannot believe, I cannot believe it. They've nerfed so many things. Wow, guys, wow. Well, yes, that's the patch you would have had uh, applied to your console, no doubt. The 1.03 patch. Let me know your thoughts on this down below, guys. Man, a lot of builds have been broken. A lot of things have been changed. The weapons, the the sorcery, the all sorts. I'm surprised they ain't said nothing about the comments there. That is still is kind of broke, to be honest. But hey, it seems as though they're keeping on top of the game. Whether you agree with what they're doing or not, that's a different story. But guys, on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out on Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.